Welcome to this video about setting of the Danfoss KP dual type pressure switch. In this video, we'll give you some tips how to do an efficient setting of the KP dual type pressure switch, which you see here, so that you ensure safe and reliable system operation. Therefore, we will show you how to identify the given KP dual type version to set up, how to set up the cut in pressure on the low pressure side how to set up the differential pressure on the low pressure side, how to set the cutout pressure on the high pressure side, how to manually reset the cutout pressure on the high pressure side. Here you see the different versions of the KP dual type pressure switches. As seen here, the regulating range and differential pressure of the high pressure setting are the same for all shown KP dual type versions. However, these parameters vary for the low pressure setting. The reset function also varies for the different KP dual type versions. We will demonstrate the setting procedure with the KP dual type version having the specification shown here. Please note that the setting procedure and the important tips given are similar for the other KP dual type pressure switches. So let us get started. You can identify the selected KP dual type version by the low and high pressure scales seen here. And on the top of the KP pressure switch you can identify the KP type and code number by the ID marking as seen here. Therefore, you do not need to remove the front cover to identify or do the setting of the KP dual type pressure switch. Please note that the layout of scales, setting screws and reset vary with the different KP dual type versions. Here you see the tools which you can use to do the setting of the KP dual type pressure switch. All you need are two sizes of slotted screwdrivers, as seen here with these examples. These can be used for removal of the locking screws for the locking plates and for the LP and HP setting. We recommend to preset the KP dual type switch before installing it into the system for easy and trouble free installation and operation. Once the setting is completed, then wire the pressure switch to the electrical supply and connect it to the piping as part of the installation. And pre-test with pressure gauges that the LP and HP settings are working correctly under system conditions. Please check the other online videos about installation of KP pressure switches. The first step is to set the LP low pressure start on the cut in range scale seen here. And then set the LP low pressure differential pressure on the diff scale seen here. Here you see the LP low pressure and differential pressure range of the KP dual type version which we have selected to demonstrate the setting procedure. This version is with automatic reset of the low pressure side. Again, please note that the layout of scale, setting screws and reset vary with the different KP dual type versions. The KP dual type pressure switch is typically used for compressor protection. You set the LP low pressure start on the cut in range scale, which is the USP upper set point illustrated here. Once this pressure point is exceeded, then the compressor starts. You then set the LP low pressure differential pressure on the diff scale, which will give you the lower set point LSP illustrated here. Once the pressure is below this point, then the compressor stops. Since this demonstrated KP version is with automatic reset on the low pressure side, then it resets automatically after operational stop and is then ready for reactivation. So let us start the LP low pressure and differential pressure setting procedure. Firstly, loosen and remove the locking screw and the locking plate as seen here. This will make it possible to adjust the low pressure and the differential setting spindles. Please note that you do not need to remove the front cover to do this setting. Then set the LP start pressure to a required value by rotating the low pressure setting spindle as seen here. Rotate clockwise to increase the pressure setting and counterclockwise to decrease the pressure setting. Now set the LP differential pressure to a required value by rotating the differential setting spindle as seen here. Rotate clockwise to decrease the differential setting and counterclockwise to increase the differential setting. As specified here, one rotation of the low pressure setting spindle equals 0.7 bar or 10 psi. 
one rotation of the differential setting speed window equals 0.15 bar or 2 psi. Please note that the LP stop pressure must be above absolute vacuum. If with low stop pressure the compressor will not stop, then check and ensure that the differential setting is not too high. You have now set the LP low pressure start and stop points for the compressor. Finally, remount the locking plate and locking screw and tighten the screw. The setting spindles and the pressure settings are now locked. We are now ready to set the HP high pressure. The HP high pressure stop is set on the cutout range scale seen here. Here you see the HP high pressure range of the KP dual type version which we have selected to demonstrate the setting procedure. The HP differential pressure is factory fixed to 4 bar or 58 psi for all KP dual type pressure switches. This version is with manual reset of the high pressure side. Again, please note that the layout of scales, setting screws and reset vary with the different KP dual type versions. Firstly, loosen and remove the locking screw and the locking plate as seen here. This will make it possible to adjust the high pressure spindle. Please note that you do not need to remove the front cover to do this setting. Then set the HP stop pressure to a required value by rotating the high pressure setting spindle as seen here. Rotate clockwise to increase the pressure setting and counterclockwise to decrease the pressure setting. As specified here, one rotation of the high pressure setting spindle equals 2.3 bar or 33.5 psi. You have now set the HP high pressure stop point for the compressor. Finally, remount the locking plate and locking screw and tighten the screw. The setting spindle and the pressure setting are now locked. The high pressure setting can be manually reset when the pressure is equal to the cutout pressure minus the fixed differential pressure of 4 bar or 58 psi. To resume control operation after a safety cutout, push the manual reset knob as seen here. Please note that the high pressure manual reset is only possible after the system pressure has dropped below the cutout pressure value. The KP dual type pressure switch is now preset and ready for an easy and trouble free installation into the system. As mentioned earlier, wire the pressure switch to electrical supply and connect it to the piping as part of the installation and pre-test with pressure gauges that the LP and HP settings are working correctly under system conditions. Please check the other online videos about installation of KP pressure switches. And also have a look at the other online learnings about Danfoss pressure switches. So now you know how to identify the given KP dual type version to set up, set the cut in pressure on the low pressure side, set the differential pressure on the low pressure side, Set the cutout pressure on the high pressure side. Manual release it the cutout pressure on the high pressure side. All this ensuring a safe and reliable system operation.